And now, and Bob Myers <laughs> having a little fun now. Steph, when you go for 62, you have to do the halftime and the post-game interview. Do you have anything left for tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I got plenty. I got plenty. I got plenty. Do you have anything left for tomorrow? Now, Steph, when, when, you, when you get 62, you have to do the halftime and the post-game interview. You don't, don't get out of that. It. I don't mind it. <laughs> we love talking to you. Hey, tell us about the 19 free throws. That's also a career best. Your mindset of attacking. We've seen you shoot threes your whole life, but really beautiful finishes and taking a lot of punishment tonight. Yeah, it's just kind of slowing down. Every game we're going to get better and more so just seeing the pictures of how they want to defend us and, and me individually. And <laughs> Get him. Get him. <laughs> you see it? Yeah, he was ready for it, though. He wasn't even – he didn't jump or anything. He's that's, that's how on fire he is. You can't even feel it. Um, I don't even know what I was saying, but just <laughs> shoot shots and – Make them, and then everything kind of opens up from there. Just trying to get into the paint and make plays. Hey, Steph, are, are you almost looking forward to all the double teams and all the bodies you're going to see because of how you've mentally prepared and because of the way you can move without the ball after you give it up, you can get it back? Are you almost looking forward to seeing all those bodies? Not really. <laughs> but it's uh, as long as I can make the right decision and yeah. – um, you know, see the pictures. That's all it is. I mean, different shots from years past, and um, a lot of that is just not rushing. Even though there might be double teams and a crowd, I always have options to you know move it or get a shot or get to the basket. I just got to make sure I see everything right. And I think tonight we just slowed down a little bit, and it obviously worked out. All right, how aware are you of the point total that you had? I mean, you know, 54 was the career high coming in. When you get to that 40 spot and things like that, are are you even aware of the numbers as they're piling? up of course uh, but you try to just continue to stay humble and stay in the moment um, that's the the best way to approach it it doesn't help when your teammates are yelling at you every dead ball how many points you got um, <laughs> but other than that it's just don't do anything differently just keep uh, keep being aggressive um, being decisive and you know good things happen and now when you had 59 <laughs> and you were trailing Draymond for that last three why do you got to do clay like that with his 60 <laughs> and, and go for 62 there killer instinct yeah I mean it, it it made so much sense that it was Draymond uh, knowing exactly what the situation was and knowing where I was at. Uh, for a hot second, I thought he wasn't going to look for me, but it, I shouldn't have never doubted it. He knew exactly where I was, and thankfully it went in. Can you talk about the way you attacked the rim? Obviously, Bob just talked about you getting to the free throw line, but you're finishing through contact or making sure you get the foul because you're jumping into the defender. You're not avoiding contact at all. Is that something you've thought about a lot during the offseason? A little bit, um, and again, it's kind of just understanding what the circumstance, situation is, or how yep. they're defending. Um, and, and when you have your, the, the right spacing and the right timing, your lanes open up, and then it's just all about finishing. I think you know, late in the first half, uh, there was a couple of plays where they sent a crowd, and I didn't read it right, so I tried to make those adjustments. Um, and like you said, it's just a matter of you know finishing with contact, being creative, or or kicking it out. And you've been pumping iron too. I see. <laughs> Got the arm. We had, we had eight months. That's all I could do. Yeah, that's all you could do. <laughs> and Steph, we'll let you go with this. You had a nice conversation with Damian Lillard at the end. His career best 61 came against the Dubs. Your career best 62 comes against the Blazers. Uh, sign me up for Lillard Curry all night long. I mean, you two are just wonderful to watch. And I know there's always kind of the game within the game too. I mean, it's all, I, got, I said it before Friday's game. It's always, uh, you know, the, the best guys in the league, especially at the point guard position, bring the best out of you. And uh, if you're around this league long enough, you kind of get to see every kind of scenario and situation. And, um, you know, we have a lot to fight for and a huge challenge in front of us there, you know, the established team now. So uh, for a guy like him, uh, like I said, it always just brings the best out of you. And I love the competition. Um, and that's kind of kind of what it is. Bro, you got a high audacity level. Is there any point in the season where at 18 seconds left on shot clock, you'll pull up from half court? Is that something that's maybe going to happen? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steph. Thanks for stopping, man. We appreciate it. Appreciate you. Congrats right, tonight. That is Wardell, Steph, and Curry, a career best 62. Warriors come up with the win. They split with Portland. And what an entertaining Sunday night at Chase Center.